Here are the biggest and best features slash things removed from EAFC 24 that won't feature in the game that you should know of because this list might shock you. It's small details that EA won't tell you and things that you should know before you buy. The new game is dropping this month. It's a new era, a new year, and EA are up to the same old shenanigans that we've had to put up with for over 15 years now. It's just another day at the office when you're a career mode enjoyer. Also, make sure to stick around until the end to find out how you can win yourself a copy of FC24 on a platform of your choice with my giveaway. But first up on the clock, we just have to talk about how they've removed homegrown talent from the pre-order bonuses. Yeah, that's right. In the Ultimate Edition, unlike in FIFA 22, FIFA 23, and I believe FIFA 21, now there is no longer the option of having a homegrown talent wonder kid waiting for you in the Youth Academy. After the last three editions of it being in the game, they have just, you know, gotten rid of it. It, giving it the boot and it will not feature in FC 24 career mode. I know it's not a make or break feature, but it was nice to have. They've decided to replace the homegrown talent after three years of it being in the pre-order bonus to be a new five-star coach you get with the new staff system. In my opinion, that, that's just an L. Surely you'll be taking a 95 potential wonder kid over a five-star head coach that you probably could easily attain anyway. Having pretty much a generational talent waiting for you once you start up a save, that just won't be the case anymore. The only thing it's given is downgrade because RIP homegrown talent. Now thanks to EA and FIFA parting ways and yeah the game's no longer called FIFA they don't have the FIFA license so that means they no longer hold the license to have the biggest and best competition in the world, the World Cup in game. The last World Cup mode in any content for a World Cup we'll ever see is from FIFA 23 with that World Cup add-on and how that affects FC 24 is that in career mode it'll be generic unlicensed based off some leaked screenshots, it's going to be called the Men's International Cup. Thanks to the split from FIFA, that means we're going to have even less national teams to play with too. So the Men's International Cup is probably going to see the same teams qualifying for it over and over again. There won't be a World Cup tournament mode, it won't feature in career mode, and that means also the trophy will be generic too. Everything's going to be feeling even emptier than usual if you're an international manager fan and wanted to play through it in FC24. I've got bad news. I hate to be the bearer of it, but there still won't be no new camp. That's right, the Barcelona Stadium. Thanks to their partnership and link up with eFootball, or formerly known as PES, that goes the same deal with the Stadio Olimpico, both Lazio and Roma. They'll both still be unlicensed without that stadium in the game. Same goes for Bayern Munich, the likes of Atalanta as well, with their brand new stadium, no Allianz Arena. Pretty much all those clubs have exclusive deals with Konami, and we won't be seeing them broken for at least a couple more years, so it's it's still bad news. I'll give EA a little bit of credit though. There are a couple of new stadiums added, including the Ibrox, Rangers home ground. We've got the Udinese Arena. A couple of low tier German stadiums are added, which are a nice touch, but there are some notable major venues removed and won't be returning for some time now. Even though EA claim to have the most authentic leagues and have all the licenses in the world, there are still some that have been left out of the game and that includes no Liga Emekis. Again, it was the deal with FIFA 20. That's why we saw so many Mexican players just languishing in the free agency. That's why Alexis Vega was the go-to free agent in career mode because there was no team for him to be on and the Mexican national team was in the game so they had to keep those players in. They couldn't just delete the entire Mexican national team so we're probably going to see a similar case this time around where all the Mexicans are unemployed and ready to be signed on a free. Keep it on trend with the missing clubs and teams. We've got no Russian clubs, no Russian league and no Russian national team and that's you know not really got to do with any licensing issues it's more to do with you know Russia's actions on the political scene the current war going on between them and Ukraine they've been banned actually in real life from even participating in Euros World Cup forget it you're not gonna be seeing them in real life or in FIFA until Putin decides to stop the war and last but not least when it comes to licenses and you know cups and leagues being removed we have no AFC competitions in the game the main one I should say the Asian champion Champions League. We all know they've got the UEFA Champions League, but there are other Champions League competitions around the world. Unfortunately, that competition and the FIFA Club World Cup won't be officially licensed. If you've seen the videos on my channel, you know that they've been modded into the game before in FIFA 23, so that's most likely going to be the case with a lot of these licenses and league issues is that we're hopefully going to 
cross our fingers and see modders work their magic to add all these teams, the authentic kits, leagues, nations added back in. But if you're on console, it's not looking good, bruv. I guarantee a lot of you are probably going to reconsider and try and invest in purchasing FC24 on PC so you could relive the full authentic experience for career mode. Unfortunately, I'm like 99% certain that there won't be any icon slash legends that we can play around with in career mode. Unlike in FIFA 20 when we had the soccer aid team, we were able to transfer players to different clubs, have them all in the free agency and let them loose in a career mode save. Unfortunately, the soccer aid team has been removed and we can't transfer any of their players to real life teams in career mode. That's just on the console version. Unless you have mods on PC, it's not possible. I don't see a world where EA introduced that feature back in the game. So for now, it still classifies as a removed feature. Another fan favorite feature that was just removed out of the blue in FIFA 21 was the EA store and the catalog in game where you can unlock boots, kits, balls, gameplay features, celebrations. And there were no microtransactions. Just the more you played the game, the more you were rewarded and the more you could actually purchase in the store, the more you could unlock. And it was just a feature that people miss, you know, like you, you grind, it gave you something to grind towards, something to work to. And that I fear will not be making a return in FC24. EA haven't said anything about it. It hasn't appeared in the beta. So you can put the house on it. The EA catalog still remains removed. EA have also ditched the main menu layout that we've been used to the past two FIFAs of the tiles all appearing at the bottom. They've switched it up for FC24 with more of a list view. I guess there is a refreshed in-game menu to look forward to, but that means the old one will be removed for the time being. There are some things in career mode and features that have been heavily requested over the years from the community that EA still haven't been bothered to add into career mode, and that is that there are no youth teams slash leagues for your academy talents to play in. You don't have an under 21s and under 20s and under 17 squad. It is just still going to be in that plain old boring genetic youth academy hub where you can only upgrade them and train them. You can't actually like play them and see their stats over a season in the youth leagues. Despite rumblings and rumors that EA were potentially collabing with the UEFA Youth League and that could be featured in the game. Unfortunately, that has died down. Nothing's been announced. The Youth Academy still remains largely unchanged. No major additions have been implemented and it still remains the same old regular thing that we're used to from FIFA 21. For the seventh year running, that's right, seven iterations of FIFA, we have had two OG features removed without a trace. Ever since FIFA 16 slash 17, we haven't seen these two appear and that includes the famous squad ranking and of course a fan favorite request funds. I can confirm through a couple of leaks and in the beta that those two OG features aren't making a return and remain removed. What a surprise. There are no sponsors in career mode this year or create a club. Apparently, there are some kit templates that EA have said that do feature sponsors, but the large majority of them will not feature any sponsors and we're still going to have sponsorless kits, not even like any fake sponsors added into the game like we had in previous FIFAs. In FIFA 10, FIFA 11, where you had like just random made up companies, even that could be possible for now, but no, they haven't made the effort. They haven't been able to pass partner up with any brands as that would just be, you know, elevate the creator club experience or even adding them into career mode, which, you know, we had that luxury in previous years, but again, it still remains a removed feature and is only being reintroduced partially in creator club. It's such a letdown and another feature which has been implemented in FC24 career mode. We now have staff and coaches that help your team train better, get the upgrades they need, improve their attributes and whatnot. There have been no new staff added besides Besides new coaches. In older FIFAs, 11 and 10, again, that manager mode, we had more of a variety of staff, not just for your players and coaching them and training them, but we had staff upgrades like your stadium manager, a negotiator, a head scout. They actually impacted the career mode save, and there were just more factors to it than just coaches for player training. Again, another half ass feature reintroduced by EA. They just haven't implemented it to its fullest potential. It's an undercooked feature that I'm sure is going to feel fresh for like the first week or two, but then after a while, it's just going to get boring and repetitive. Now, this one really, like, just aggravates me. It bothers me because there is still no stadium creator as shown in other sports games, EA games, and now FIFA Mobile. Yeah, they, like, revealed something in that presentation where they were revealing FC24, and it had everyone thinking that a stadium creator was coming, but it was just for a mobile game. Because in recent years, I think back in FIFA 22, they added the stadium editor, like, in Creator Club, and the in detailed stadium customization in Ultimate Team.
game, but they still haven't really expanded on it. Like, it's still the same. Like, it hasn't been improved on, even though Ultimate Team gets way better customization, way more, like, things I can build in their stadium to make it feel like their own. Meanwhile, in career mode, we just have to edit from whatever default stadium, Sanderson Park or whatever it's called. We can only, like, change the seat colors. We can't expand anything. It's really bare bones. We're forced to use their generic template stadiums, and we can't create from scratch, which is what people in career mode fans have been begging for. Even if career mode had the same customization as Ultimate Team, that would be appreciated, but still, we are left behind, left in the dust, and there is still no in-depth creator stadium, customize your stadium coming to FC24. Another feature that just isn't possible yet and won't be featuring in the upcoming game will be that there is no women's career mode, just because there aren't as many leagues, players, and teams yet, but it's definitely a possibility in the future, considering how much they're pushing the marketing for women in Ultimate Team now. You can bet your bottom dollar that that will be a women's career mode. Maybe not FIFA, not in FC25, maybe in the year after. They're adding more licenses, more teams, more competitions to the women's game. So mark my words, I think it's in the pipeline. It's some more down bad news for Creator Club because there have been no changes in FC24. Things considered as updates, like more kits and more crests, I guess you can say, but there have been no major enhancements or improvements that they've announced. Everything looks pretty much the same in the beta and I feel bad because PC mods in FIFA 23 have added more kits, they've added sponsors to every kit, new logos and crests, new goalkeeper kits too, you could actually play in real life stadiums if you wanted to and change the name of it. A multi-billion dollar company can't add these simple changes, but a random bloke in his basement can make the game a better experience for career mode lovers. It's an evil world we live in, it really is because there is still only 15 seasons you can sim to in career mode and my player. It's been the cap for like 10 plus years I want to say. You can only play the game up until a certain point and simulate into the future. Again there have been mods released in the past 4-5 years that have fixed this and lets you go further into the future without the game just kicking you out completely. But again it's not officially in the game and it just makes it such more of a limited experience compared to other sports titles like Madden you can sim 30 so at least double compared to FIFA and in NBA 2K you can go up to 80 seasons into the future. It's just such a simple element that holds the game back. What if I wanted to sim to, you know, 2050 or, you know, the next century or the next couple decades? It's just not possible. Now, here's a feature that I don't really expect EA to add, but it would be cool to see in the game and that there is no VAR. They've been talking about it, but ultimately they've realized it's not really a, a feature they should invest in too much. It's kind of an impossible addition considering the game knows if it's a penalty or a foul or a free kick or a red card. It would just be nice to see the cutscene every now and then, see the ref go to the pitch side monitor, have a look at the replay, do that hand signal. Even if the game knows the result, like for the sake of realism, it would be a cool attention to detail feature. And it just adds a little bit of extra suspense, especially when you're in an important career mode game where there's titles on the line. Honestly, I probably don't see VAR coming anytime soon. However, the referee cam has been introduced, which I didn't see coming like the first person view of the ref spraying the line on the field, looking at players in the eyes, giving them yellows and reds. That caught me off EA, I'm not gonna lie. And another upcoming feature that EA supposedly look like they're working on is a free roam mode. It could well and truly be coming into the future, but definitely won't feature in FC24 as we've seen some job listings for a sandbox open world environment, which could be the main headline feature for FC25. EA looking for an environment art director and they want to collaborate to establish a cohesive visual language and build a new sandbox open world environment, which fingers crossed is for FC25. We've seen glimpses and flashes of this in the Volta story mode over the years, in the journey, and what probably they're going to attempt to do is try to replicate the NBA 2K park mode, which is where you create your own player, your own build, and you can just explore the city. And that could have massive ramifications and be a game-changing feature, especially for pro clubs, Volta, player career mode. It would be absolutely groundbreaking and just create a whole new experience, which is what we're asking for. At least they're taking steps in the right direction and something I can confidently say won't be arriving anytime soon is no online career mode. Nope, that won't be a feature in FC24. They've confirmed it. The developers have stated that it will not arrive in the near future. I've had this dream for a while, but it's officially been crushed. Online career mode, it's just a pipe dream. I've accepted that EA is just never going to add it. it. It just won't be possible. Even though you can do it in other EA games like Madden 20, 
24. It's been in NBA 2K for ages. Unfortunately, FIFA and FC 24 just don't get the same treatment. The head developer stated that they're obviously keeping an eye on the future for an online career mode, so at least it's, you know, fresh in their minds. They know people want this, but I think right now they just don't know how it's going to work or how they're going to actually incorporate it into the game. They just have to figure things out here because they can barely get the offline career mode experience right, let alone adding a whole new online world to it. It'll go down as the most requested mode in FIFA history that never was. Anyways, those are all the features and new things that won't be in FIFA 24 or EAFC 24. Everything I could think of when it comes to manager career mode, player career mode, just general things in gameplay that enhance your experience. Let me know down below if I've missed out on anything and make sure to comment what one of these do you want to see added into upcoming titles because I'm sure EA are watching. Like I mentioned in the intro, I'll be giving away FC 24 to a lucky winner on a platform of your choice, Xbox, PS5, PC or Switch. All you have to do to enter is like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Insta and follow my channel over on Kick, which I'll be live streaming to on the regular once the game drops and comment done when you've completed it. All my links are down in the description below and make sure to DM me proof on Instagram so you can increase your chances of winning. I'll announce the winner on the official launch day, September 29th, so make sure to keep your eyes peeled. As for me, I've been Sir BCHD. Make sure to drop the video a like if you made it this way and enjoyed all the content. Subscribe, turn on the notifications, all that good stuff so you never miss out on the FC24 content coming to the channel this year. I'm going to love you and leave you. Have a great day and I'll catch you all in the very next video. Bye-bye.